Hey everybody, Felix Stoffelbaker here. Wanted to make a sincere video to Colin Talks Crypto. And I just want to start off by saying I have absolutely nothing bad to say about Colin. He's a stand-up guy. He really believes uh, in what he's doing and he believes that he's doing it for the best, the betterment of himself. And then he is literally just sharing online what he is doing. I mean, I don't see anybody else really taking the personal responsibility and accountability and level of intellectual honesty um, that he has being broadcast anywhere else. I mean, this guy is clearly uh, doing the right stuff, but I just had a couple little suggestions that maybe he could take um, to heart or just think about because I've been here uh, pretty much since I got into crypto, one of the first EOS influencers that I started following was Colin Talks Crypto. And he knows more about EOS than most people. Um, I would say, you know, he's, he's in the top five for sure. And EOS hasn't necessarily been that great to him and especially to his wallet. And, you know, the guy has... I guess like enough money you know to to where he he's well off he moved to Puerto Rico as everybody knows who watches him all of his uh, public videos state that kind of thing he even got a passport to St. Kitts so this guy is like really on his personal finance and really on his uh, betterment uh, of life and trying to improve uh, just his overall life with everything and recently he put out a video it was a two-part series about his biggest crypto mistakes and how some of the stuff that he did wrong and you know I was definitely I didn't buy any or FOMO in but I was definitely feeling like I missed out on Luna because there was even a guy named uh, Max Schill on Twitter was I mean these guys were talking about it in the pennies and it went to a couple of hundred dollars. And I mean, just insane gains, stuff that we would hope for EOS, stuff that we wanted for ourselves and that didn't happen. But these people, him and uh, Colin did really, really well off. And then as customary for blockchains that are not built um, for the global payment rails for the just the top robustness of blockchains you have these different hacks and these exploits that happen on these protocols and it it's not necessarily the protocol itself but when you have something built on top of it that's shaky it can always crush down and Colin was very open about it he lost considerable considerable amounts of money all the money that he kept in Luna was basically wiped out from the crash. And, you know, he talked about maybe even losing almost half of his entire portfolio, even though he took some profits and ended up basically making a gain on Luna. And I really saw his video and he was talking about how basically EOS was the worst investment that he had made, that he lost a ton, a ton of money in that, and that you know, he's obviously, uh, rightfully so in his case, you know, mad at Block One and mad that EOS didn't pan out the way that he had hoped. And same for me. But I just want to encourage him and tell him that, you know, just because Luna was a failure as a whole, um, that had this, this crash when the unpegging happened, that there are still blockchains available that are coming online for the betterment of the globe. And I see EOS as that. He talked about not having all the eggs in one basket. And so that if something like that were to happen again, he wouldn't lose out all his capital. And also not being risk averse enough to where he wasn't willing to put a tiny amount of money into other crypto projects 
and I just see Colin as such an EOS OG. He was one of the originals. When I first got into crypto, I was following him. I learned so much from him and it was a big inspiration. I still use the CBBI. He's contributed a lot to the crypto community as a whole, no matter where he goes. I've never seen him say a bad word about anybody, especially somebody who's willing to engage him on an actual discussion and not just throw around ad homonyms. I mean, the guy is as real as it gets. He's as stand up as it gets. I mean, he's just a solid dude. And then on top of that, um, you know, he's a excellent crypto uh, trader and things because he, he gets no personal gain uh, tax where he's at in Puerto Rico. And, you know, I almost was able to meet him in Miami. We were at two of the same spots. I was at the Bitcoin crypto conference in 21, and so was he. And then we both went to the Floyd Mayweather, Logan Paul fight the next night. And somehow we just weren't able to uh, to meet. But I just want to say that I really like him. And I always respect what he has to say, even if I don't agree. And I just want to encourage him that I know you've been hurt really bad by EOS. I know it's really put a dent in your overall portfolio and your trust in people and a lot of different things hampered by that overall investment that didn't go well. But I just want to encourage you, I'm still here. You are still here in the crypto space. And I even heard you say that you thought that the new separation from Block One, the Antelope IO, the new governance model had a real chance to be successful and that you hoped it was successful. I would just encourage you, Colin, if you watch this to, I mean, just grab a little bag of EOS, bro. You don't have to put any percentage amount of your net worth into this stuff, but you know too much and we're too close to this catching on for you to miss out, bro. I don't want to see you miss. You were the one of the original OGs and for you not to be a part of this as it happens, I would just feel really bad if you missed out. So, I mean, I don't even know, I have zero idea what your finances are or anything like that, but I mean, I had a meme like a year or two ago about if you had 2,112, you know, 2112 EOS that you'd have enough to retire. Um, now, I don't know when that'll happen. You know, obviously I'm still waiting around. I've, I've bought EOS up to $12, wrote it up. I was with you, I, I bought EOS at two or $3, wrote it up to all time highs, wrote it all the way down, didn't take any profits. And then I've, the most expensive EOS I've bought is over $12, but I've never sold any. I still have all of it. And I just think that if you were able to just dip your toe in, just, just to say that you're an EOS bag holder still, it would just mean a lot to the EOS community who's been following you the whole time. And I, I just think that if it, if something crazy happens and we go to a new system and the flip switches and you're not in, I feel like that would just be a big mistake. And I respect you, I appreciate you. And you know, obviously I'm not expecting you to jump into EOS the way that you were or anything like that. But I just wanna encourage you, man, like you're too smart to, to miss out on this. I don't, I'm not sure if you see the bigger picture overall where we're actually being conditioned into a new system. And I see the new system as EOS, um, as the foundational base layer. And you know, this is just kind of a, a little pep talk, but if you need me to go into more details, I, I can go into more details for you. But man, it would just be the worst for all of us to go to the moon and Colin Talks Crypto not be with us. So I just wanna put that out there. If you see this, Colin, man, you're the man. And I really hope that you at least have, you know, a little tiny amount of EOS. So I just wanna put that out there. Stoffel Baker out.